Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Earth Science Screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And we're starting the astronomy unit. This is going to be the first one out of a series of quite a few astronomy screencasts. So I hope you start. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, with this one, we're going to look at the start of our universe or the beginning, which is, of course, the Big Bang. The Big Bang was basically a time or actually the start of time where everything was compressed into one little point. And then all of a sudden, for reasons that we're not really sure of, everything expanded outwards. And when it did so, we had this expansion, everything started to cool. And as it cooled, we started to get the formation of our smallest atoms and then so on and so forth. And it eventually to get what we are now about 13 to 14 billion years later. So a lot happened within that time. We'll elaborate a little bit more on it, but that's basically the, the, whole, the, the shortest story of it. So the Big Bang Theory uh, is basically saying that the universe, uh, as we know it, started about 12 to 15 billion years ago. Before that, there was nothing. Or so we believe, some people believe there may have been something else. But at the time of the Big Bang, like I said before, all time, space, energy, and matter were compressed into something extremely small, something very small like the tip of a pin. Big Bang occurs, all this matter is released, this energy is released, sorry, eventually forming the things we have today, stars, galaxies, planets, and basically any other object out there. We believe that the universe is about 25 billion light years in diameter and is still expanding. We'll talk about the light years a little bit later, but it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty massive size. So we do have some evidence for this occurring. First thing is we have, we have background radiation. It's the crackling noise detected from space that are thought to be original sounds left over uh, from the Big Bang explosion or the, the Big Bang itself. You can actually detect this if you were to basically turn on a TV, an older TV that's not really hooked up to anything, and you'll get that shh in the background noise. That's it. That's allegedly the background radiation from the Big Bang. We also have what's called the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is basically when we have light from distant galaxies and stars. If they're moving away from us, what we would see is a red shift. The light shifts towards the red end of the spectrum. Stars that are moving towards us would shift towards the blue. But what we perceive with galaxies and anything else, looking at using different telescopes, such as the Hubble telescope and a number of different ones, that all these lights are shifting towards the red end. It's not that they appear red, they shift to that longer wavelength, which we'll get into in a moment. First, we need to turn to page 15 in our science reference table, and we see this chart right here. And what we see is that we have our visible light spectrum going from violet to red. Violet is going to be a small wavelength. It's a little symbol for a wavelength. Here, long wavelength. So if you wanted to draw it, you would have something like this. And over here, that would be a long wavelength. Remember, we're looking from crest to crest. Or in this case, we could do the same from here to there. The longer wavelength is important for that red shift, which we're going to bring right up in a moment here. So what we end up having, here's our object right here. As it moves this way, notice that we get these very small intervals. Everything is kind of pushed and compressed. This would be our blue end. This is something I would definitely copy down, these diagrams. Notice on the red end, it's basically they're moving apart. These diagrams right here, a little bit easier to see, standard, which means it's not moving. So we receive a certain wavelength of light. If this object is moving towards us, it squeezes that wavelength closer together. If it's moving away, what we end up getting is that long wavelength right there. So further away, red shift, moving towards us, blue shift. What we see are the part of the visible spectrum or the spectra received from stars. So when we look at a star with a spectroscope or a number of other instruments, we get the series of lines. So there they are right there. Notice with the red shift, those lines move towards the longer wavelength. Well, that little symbol right there makes it easy, a little lambda symbol. Notice with as a blue shift, the lines move. So we're looking at the shift of the spectra of those stars. This diagram right here, another good one, definitely copy it down. There's that line. So if nothing was moving, there would see, there was that, that black spot we see, that black line. Notice that the red shift 
it moves over towards this side. The blue shift, notice it moves to the opposite direction. So that's it moving towards us, red shift, away from us, blue shift. What we see though, in actuality, is the red shift. There are two possible fates for our universe. Some people believe it's just gonna keep expanding, expanding, and expanding outwards. Other people believe it's gonna expand out to a point and then it's gonna start falling back into itself. So those are the two possible fates we have for the universe. What we actually get though, is that we get that expansion, that redshift that's going on forever. The other one, others think that the force of gravity will eventually reverse that expansion, pulling us back, and we'd get the blue shift. But what we're actually getting right now is as we're expanding, the universe is also accelerating. Speeding up as it expands. So something's going on. A lot of people are have a couple of different ideas, but those are the two different fates. And that's about it for the Big Bang. We'll go more into it in class. So it's just kind of a little overview for it. Um, next time we meet and talk, we'll talk about galaxies. Hope you enjoyed the screencast. Take care.